Okay, so the first card we have is com yeah, compromise, sorry. Um, a lot of you guys, okay, so some of the, the this is, um, some people this month here, some of you Gemini, you will be thinking, you might be thinking of, uh, you're, you might be in a situation, so you might be thinking a lot about a situation that you're involved in currently, or you will be this month of April, which is possibly going to make you feel like you have to compromise. Um, you might have to give up something in order to get something, and same with the other person. The other person might have to give up something in order to get something um, for both of you to come together to make something work. So it might, there might be a lot of thinking around this attitude of what do I need to, you know, do I want to compromise? Can I compromise? What am I going to have to give up to get this? And is it worth it? The next card we have is laziness. I love this card. <laughs> okay, so you guys might be acting lazy this month. <laughs> um, what a great month, April. I don't know about you, but here it's really nice and sunny and warm and everything's growing and it's beautiful. Um, I live in California. So this guy looks like this guy looks like he's kicking back on the beach with his margarita or whatever he's drinking and he's just relaxing. Um, so this, you might be feeling lazy. Uh, you might be acting in a lazy, you know, lazy, you don't want to take, take action maybe, or you uh, want to just chill, relax, enjoy, you know, enjoy this beautiful weather, enjoy this, you know, April. Um, and, uh, so you might, you might not be doing stuff, but the only thing here or the only warning here is to be careful not to be overly lazy, um, because bad things can happen when we become, um, indulge in something like this. Um, if we stay in this, um, type of, um, feeling too long, we may neglect, uh, the things that we actually need to do. And it looks like you guys actually do need to make some choices and do some things this month already so um enjoy the spring enjoy this new month and um enjoy your relaxation and and chill you know this person feels really abundant they feel um at ease and relaxed and um not rushed um which is an excellent way to feel uh that's why i love this card uh, but again, you know, just be careful that you're not postponing because it looks like you have to take, you ha looks like you might have to take some action. All right. So the next card we have is the way that you're going to be feeling. It looks like some of you uh, were depressed or feeling numb or feeling just sallow and blah, you know, uh, in the past. And it looks like now you're coming into some color. You're coming into some vibrance. You're starting to to come alive and you're starting to come out of any kind of feelings that, that has stopped you from living, you know, and being happy. So a lot of you guys are actually coming out of a state of, um, bored, boredness or depression or unfulfillment. It looks like you're coming alive this month. You're coming alive. Uh, you're feeling alive. It's more about feeling. And maybe that's why you're taking a vacation and relaxing in the lazy, lazy mode because you're like, ah, oh, fresh air, green grass. Um, I mean, if you can see, it's all black and white around the frame of this card. And then right in the center, it's like a, that's you, Gemini, male or female. <laughs> uh, you're coming alive. You're starting to see the green and you're happy. It's, you're, you're, you're starting to feel really good, you guys. Um, I'm really happy for you. You guys are feeling, a lot of you are feeling good. Um, and wow. And you have the outcome of complete completion. You're putting the last piece now uh T uh, together uh, in a situation. And uh, I think, you know, maybe you need to compromise with somebody um, and come to a final conclusion and that will bring you to your completeness. Um, this is fantastic. You guys are, might be completing something this month, this month in April. Um, by the end of the month, you guys should have something completed that you've been really wanting to, that you've been working on for a long time or uh, dealing with. It's coming to an end. It's coming to closure. All right, so into your reading, the main energy, one of the main, one of the main energies is just kind of looming around. It looks like you're getting over something emotional or somebody is, um, you know, it looks like you're, this is the six of swords. So you're moving on. You, you, you've left a situation that was, that's been really, um, painful, hurtful, um, you, you're moving away from many hard feelings and hard situations and you're moving forward in your life now and you're moving towards something way better for yourself. 
So you, you, you look, it looks like you're getting over something and you're just working through it now. You're getting past it. You're getting past, you've moved past it. And maybe that's why you're now getting to a completion because maybe you're ending a relationship uh, you were in or you um, ended a contract or you ended uh, something to do with something that wasn't working for you. It definitely was not working in your favor. Maybe it was, but it stopped and, it, it, and you knew you had to move forward. So you guys are going to be doing that. Somebody's moving forward and that's going to put a completion to something. And maybe that's why you're getting so feeling so good because you know you're going to end something and you're moving towards something beautiful now, something that will work out for you. You're moving for, towards this card is moving towards something toward it, it's not it's not always easy to be in that little center period where the change and transformation is happening. But you're moving towards this rainbow. You're moving towards something better. Wow, I think three three signs have had this card, but you guys have it in the upright position, so this is good. Um, they did not. <laughs> okay, so this is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is saying that there's going to be some communication, emails, phone calls, um, opportunities, contacts coming into your life and there's going to be possibly a lot of them they may be coming in a lot all at once so you might be getting hit really hard with a ton of opportunities these could be job opportunities uh, brand new job opportunities um, now that it looks like you've completed something with somebody or something you're going to be moving into something new so this is something new most likely um, you might you know this is something new that you're moving into you're moving into some new opportunities. So be, be ready guys. It's going to come quick and fast. Uh, they might all hit at once. You know, maybe somebody has been trying to get a hold of you for a while and because of retrograde, you didn't get the messages. So you might get them all at one time or just that's the way it's going to work. It's going to roll. You know, you're just going to get everything all at one time. Um, and that's fantastic because you're, this is going to help you. Um, yeah. So what's crossing you is the hangman. The hangman, um, the hangman's in reverse. I see that it, you're you're coming out of a less you're coming out of being stuck. You're coming out of a learning process that took a long time, where you felt you couldn't um, possibly move forward, you know, as fast as you wanted to because you were learning something. So you're out of this transformation now, you guys. You're coming out of a time where you couldn't move. You've completed something. I see that now. This, this is the month, pivotal month for you in April. You're completing it this month. You're coming out of a time where you felt stuck, where you were not able to, stagnant. You were not able to move forward. And this month, you guys, it's all coming in. You're getting the messages. You're getting the opportunities. You're getting the, whether they're uh, relationships coming in, tons of them. You're going to maybe, maybe you're really attractive this month. And you're getting tons of new opportunities because you left somebody. You left something that was hurtful, but now you're getting, you learned your lesson. You're coming out of a time where you uh, were not moving that fast or forward. So now you're moving forward and you're getting a lot of opportunities. You move past something in the past. You're completing something. This is fantastic. Um, wow. And you guys, you guys, this is what you want. You want to take control and be the leader of your own life. You want to be the emperor or you want this person. This is a person you want. And maybe you want somebody in your life that knows who they are, that, that takes lead, takes control, um, succeeds, um, you know, has confidence um, and is kind of stable. You know, this person is very stable. They're very mature. Um, you know, this is somebody you want in your life, you guys, but he's not, he or she is not there at this, this very moment. Okay. Or this is you. You want to. You want to be this way. You want to take control of your life. You want to be stable. You want to be solid. This is somebody who's solid, like this tree. This tree has roots way deep in the ground, and it's not going to be easily knocked over. You want something stable, something that's going to last. This tree is probably trees are hundreds of years old, or year many, 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 many years old. Um, and that's what you want. You want something that's going to last forever. You want something that's going to be stable. Uh, that's going to work for, for you. And be there for you that you can count on. So this is what you're looking for. Um, you know, uh, it's not there yet. But look, guys, it's something's coming in. Whatever this thing is you want might be coming in. <gasps> oh, in the past, you guys had the sun in reverse, which means 
you had to work a little hard in the past to get your happiness. You know, maybe there's a lot of work. Maybe that's why you have this laziness card. Because now, this was in your past. So now it's different. Things are changing. You had to work a little bit hard to get your happiness. Now, you guys, it's coming in. You don't have to work anymore. It's coming to you. Everyone, everything is coming to you. Somebody's learned their lesson and they're coming back. They're coming in. Or they see how positive you are or want something from you that you can offer and they're coming into you. You don't have to work anymore because in the past it looks like you were happy, but you had to work hard to become, to stay happy. But now you guys want stability. You don't want it to come and go. You don't want to have to work hard. You want it just to be there because this tree is just there. It just sits there because it already has strong roots. It doesn't have to do anything anymore. It's already fully grown and it's it's nourished and it's just fulfilled and it just keeps growing and it doesn't have to, you don't, don't, you don't have to do too much work anymore because this person's made it to the top. They've made it. The emperor is the highest level you can achieve making it to the top right so it looks like something's coming in for you and now it looks like you can really enjoy it <laughs> no wonder why you guys want to be lazy um right now in front of you gemini um we have the two of pentacles so you might um need to make a decision about something and i do see the compromise card here which tells me you might same thing this is a card this is almost a card of gemini it looks like a gemini um, but it's not, it could be, but this is, um, you know, it's two people having to really compromise to, to make something work. They might have, you might have to give something up a little bit, but maybe it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is you guys. So you might need to think about what it is that you, uh, what decision you want to make. Okay. Some of you have to make a decision and just remember it's okay to compromise. Sometimes we have to give up something. Sometimes we don't. I'm just telling you the warning here. Sometimes you don't. So make sure you know what it is that you want. Um, you might be making a decision. For some of you, um, you need to balance your finances. Um, you need to, or you will be balancing your finances. You might be coming to a stable position with your money right now in this month of April. And then some of you also um, finally might be, by, by completing this, by making this completion, your life might become a lot more manageable. Um, like I say, in the past, you had to work a little hard. Maybe now you're going to get this really nice balance in your life. So enjoy this. This is here for you. It's it's going to be something that you they want you to focus on. I'm being told this is something you need to focus on for some reason. It's important to some people out there that you continue to focus on this, whether it be making a choice or um, just enjoying the balance that you're receiving now. Wow. So you guys are looking at the situation um, kind of in a scary negative way. It looks, This is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you're looking at this. Well, it's not scary. I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. This is how you're looking at your situation. And you might be looking at your situation like that things may have and may have been uns unsatisfying for you. Okay. You're looking at the situation as if you're not satisfied or somebody else isn't satisfied or your family is going to be ending something within your family um, or somebody in your family might be unhappy because something's ending or something's starting to happen in the family. Some changes are occurring in the family now because there's compromise and maybe you're, fe you're feeling um, not a little unsettled and that you're not 100% satisfied with the way things are right now. But it does look like you're coming out, you're getting new opportunity, and somebody's coming out of a stagnant situation and moving on. So that's a good thing. So it may be that you're leaving uh, a family situation. Maybe some people are getting divorced. Some people are moving out of, out of, out of their homes or out of – if you're coupled, maybe you're moving out of, out of a home um, and you're looking for new places to live and you're coming out of – you were stagnant in this situation, okay? So some people are going to be leaving a home situation. The next card is the hermit. This is the other person. If there's somebody else involved in your situation this month, um, they're going to be coming out of hiding. So it's this other person, it looks like, that's crossing you. Um, you're going to be this other person. Somebody's coming out of a, 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 a time where they have not been communicating, talking, or doing anything for a long, kind of a long time. Could be a long time. Um they haven't been communicating, but now they are. They're coming. They've learned their lesson. 
they had to go and be away from you or be away from the situation, you guys, because they had to learn something. There was something they needed to find out within themselves. And they now have found the answers. They now know what they want. They now feel that they can come to you or come in the situation and um, move forward in some way or another. Because we also have the hangman, which basically means the same thing as the hermit in reverse. Um, you're, these, these cards are both in reverse and they're both coming out of stagnation out of a time where they were not really moving forward or doing anything. And now you're coming out of that. So the other person's coming out. They've learned their lesson. And now you're going to be hearing from them. You're going to be getting tons of messages from this person. They really, really want to come into your life. They really, really want to come into your life. But you've been really unsatisfied with the situation. And it looks like you're moving out of the unhappiness. And, and But as soon as you move out of the unhappiness, you guys, that bam, they're coming back into your life. Somebody's coming in after you've already gotten over them. You're like, you were not happy with them and you already moved past. Somebody moved past somebody or it's a person or a situation and now something's coming back. Uh, maybe they, that's why they left. You know, they had to figure something out within themselves. And sometimes we do need to do that, you guys. We need to take a break. I'm not sure why this person took a break, but they definitely learned their lesson. They've learned some kind of lesson here. I don't know if you're going to compromise or not. I do know you're loving it. You're like, you're getting all the messages and you're like, haha, I'm going to enjoy this because you're getting all the attention now. So you're going to be like hanging out on the beach, like not in any rush because you know all these messages are here for you. <laughs> okay. Um, the next card we have is the, okay, so this is the page. This is the page of swords. You guys are hoping to get some communication or you're hoping to find out some some you're hoping to get uh, to reach yeah to get some clarity and some communication and it looks like you will it looks like you guys are going to get it it's coming in and we have the chariot in reverse um there is a it does look like there is going to be a postponement somebody's going to have something's going on when it comes to moving forward somebody feels a little bit hesitant i think it's because you guys need to make a decision you got to decide whether you really want to compromise or not. Do you want to move forward? And it's, you're already happy. You're already ready. You've already moved past negativity. So you're ready to start something new with somebody else or a new work project or a new home or a new situation or relationship. Yet you're also getting an offer from somebody, it looks like from the past, that's already in your life that's been stagnant or away. Um and you're, or you're getting two offers. You're getting a new offer and the old person is coming back or the person you've been with that's been, you know, stagnant. Um, so you guys are, are going to be, you're not too confident right now um, about which way you want to go. Do you want to move forward with this person from the past or do you want to move forward with this new options? Because you've got a lot of options. You have several options here. Two different people, two different job offers or maybe more job offers. Who knows? But um you're not really sure yet uh, whether you want to move forward with this person or not. Um, you don't know for sure how much of a compromise you want to make, if any at all. And um, you're going to be taking time right now to make a decision. Wow, look at the outcome. Okay, so the outcome is, um, so the outcome here we have is, gosh, what is this? Okay, this is why these cards are great, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to look here if I can find this. This is the eight. I think this is eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the eight. Eight of pentacles, you guys, and it's in reverse. So, you know, there has, there is an imbalance here, or there was. Somebody gave, you gave way too much to somebody. And they did not give back to you. That's why you're looking at it like, no, this, this situation was very unsatisfying. Because maybe you gave too much money. You get rid of giving all the money and now you don't have any. Or you were giving all your emotions, all your attention, all your time, all your valuable love and care towards somebody and they were not giving it back. So I think what's happened here is the other person's learned their le They've learned, they realize that. Somebody realizes that, okay? Somebody realizes there was an imbalance. You obviously realized it. And you've already moved past that. You've already, you already knew it and you're moving, you're moving on to good things right now. But the other person 
is just now realizing it and they're now realizing duh i want i i, I see what i did wrong i i they sh- they're i think they're feeling guilty and bad for what it is that they did um or how imbalanced things were. And I think that's why you guys need to compromise now at this point, because you guys need to communicate that. Right. And, um, so this imbalance doesn't happen anymore. There needs to be a compromise. It needs to be give and take, and it needs to be equal, equal between the both of you or whatever this work situation is, home situation, relationship, it has to be equal. And, um, you're not willing to, you know, you're not willing to accept it anymore whether this be you or somebody or you, if you did this to somebody else, you guys, um, and you're the one, you're the one who learned your lesson and you're coming out of a state of stagnation. Um, you know, you're going to still, you're going to need to make a decision. Okay. Um, because the other person is asking for compromise. Somebody's asking for something to be possibly reunited, uh, re redone possibly. And somebody else may not want to do that or vice versa. Well, this is your reading guys. I want to know what you think of these cards, um, how you like them. I may not use them again. Uh, let me know what you think. I do love them. I really do. I like the colors. I love the texture, um, the lines, all these it's, I call this, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's, I call it texture art. Um, because there's so many different, um, there's so much to the details, you know, um, they're unusual. They're not like the normal details of something, but, uh, yeah, 